Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you face tapping for glowing skin. We're going to do a series of face tapping from the neck all the way up to the face and also the head and then finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage release so we can release the toxins in the way so we've moved from this area. So I like to sit down with my feet firmly on the ground and you want your shoulders kind of nice and relaxed. Now, as you can see, I have no product on my skin, so clean skin, clean fingers. Now, you can use some form of slip with this. I'm using some Peaches um, Renewal Facial Oil, not sponsored, um, but you can use your own face cream or another facial oil, just something with a bit of tack so we're not actually compromising the skin by dragging and pulling. So let's just apply just a little bit. We don't need too much for this, just onto the fingers. And then just first of all, just apply it all along the face area and also the neck area. So let's just start first of all, just tapping just here, just above the collarbone. And just, just give it a gentle tap. You don't need to be too heavy handed. And then just start to work our way up the neck. Now with doing facial tapping, you're actually helping blood flow and circulation. And this is really good for that really lovely glowing skin. And then all the way up to the neck. And then with the fingers just under the neck. All the way along. And again. We have lots of lymph nodes under the jawline here. So it really does help to move things along and get things going. And then just here we have really good pressure point literally where our chin is so you can just give it a tap there this also helps calm down the nervous system and then just I like to work in an outwards motion and then almost slightly up now if you do have long nails you can always use your knuckles but just be mindful not to go in too sort of heavy-handed and then on the lips And then we have a more pressure point here, just above the lip here. Again, just giving this a few nice gentle taps. And then all the way under the cheekbone from the nostrils. So we can just tap the nostrils here. And if you start to tap along and under the cheekbone, again, we have lots of lymph nodes under the cheekbone. And then with the ring finger, you just want to tap between the eyes. Now we're using the ring finger because you have a lighter touch with the ring finger and the skin around the eyes is very sensitive and is very fine. And then you just want to tap literally along the bone. And you can almost keep this point where your, um, your pupils are. You can just do a few gentle taps few extra ones again it's a really good aqua pressure point and then just move along to the temples now we're going to just very very gently tap just on the eye very very lightly and then again outwards and under the eyebrow so let's just tap the third eye here you could do it with one finger or with both hands just gently tapping and then you want to just move in an outwards motion again to the temples. Now I'm just working my way from my hairline to the top of the head, crown chakra. Just give that a good tap. And then you can start to tap all around the head, really stimulating all those cells by the side of the ears. And just keep going to the back of the neck as well and sort of where the nape of the neck is as well again we have lymph nodes all along these areas and then just work your way again back up crown chakra so now we've done some tapping we've actually boosted collagen and also we've boosted um, oxygen to and blood flow to the surface of the skin we're now going to just do a little bit of lymphatic drainage so first of all i'm just going to with my fingers just gently glide literally down the neck here this big muscle this sem muscle just a couple of times very lightly with my fingers 
and then on the other side and then with the fingers on the forehead just gliding very lightly moving all those toxins and waste help that glowing skin and then with the fingers down by the side of the eyes and then with the ring finger under the eye and above the cheekbones and then drawing down from the side of the nose great if you have sinus problems to the nostrils and then under the cheekbone where we have those lymph nodes and then just full glide of the bottom lower part of the face with the hands and then with the thumb under the chin fingers above if you can just gently glide all the way along again lots of lymph nodes under the jawline again slow and mindful and then just massage the side of the ears and glide down the side of the neck down to the collarbone so for the final lymphatic drainage massage if you can just massage the top of the ears very lightly to the bottom of the ear and to the top of the ear again to the bottom and I always finish off with this movement I really do think it helps um, you may find you want to swallow at this point as you can feel things moving and then if you just get your fingers and just again just round circular motions just massaging along the occipital bone the nape of the neck and then when the fingers are touching if you can just gently glide just down the side of that big muscle again to the collarbone and then from the chin all the way down either side here where the collarbone is you have a couple of points sort of like indentations if you like and if you can just give those a few gentle presses this will release all the toxins and the waste from where we've been tapping and doing lymphatic massage into the body ready for elimination now I will place another video here if you'd like to join me that would be great and if you found this video interesting and really enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it does help with the algorithm and I look forward to seeing you in the next one Okay, bye.